Hi, everybody. Oh, you're a movie star now. Are you happy for that? Yes. When I was younger, I always wanted to be a movie star. And so now I got my wish. I'm a movie star. Uh, how did you meet John Waters? Well, I used to be a bartender, you know, barmaid. And this was in the 70s when they all were hippies and all that. And, and I used to work at a nightclub, you know, and on East Baltimore Street, the strip, they called it, for about 13 years. Then I decided, well, it's about time I did something now. So I got a job like in a family kind of type bar, and they all used to come in, and the college kids and everybody. They thought I was part of the decor, <laughs> you know. They didn't know I worked in nightclubs before, you know. And we got to be good friends, and he asked me to be in... Uh, multiple maniacs as uh, Jesus' mother, and I've been in there with him. How do you like John? I like him. He's very good to work with. He's not hard. He don't like you to drink or smoke pot on the set, but what you do afterwards, he don't care. He's a perfectionist, but he's good to work with. Well, I have a producer from uh, uh, Hollywood named Woolen, that wants to make a record of me. And this is the song he wants to make. And these are the words I made up. Punks like you just blow my mind. You're all just one of a kind. Going nowhere real fast. You heard me? Going nowhere real fast. Then the band stopped and I said, Hey, punks, get off the grass. Say, who in the hell do you think you are? I'm Queen of Punk, and you better know who you really are. Going nowhere real fast. You heard me? Going nowhere real fast. Then the band stops, and I say, Hey, punks, get off the grass. You can't hit your wagon to a star. Because I'm a star. And you better know who you are. Going nowhere real fast. You heard me. Going nowhere real fast. Then the band stops. Hey, punk! Get off the grass. I was born, you know, in New York, but raised in Denver, Colorado. And um, like I said before, I was, was like movie crazy, so I went to California trying to get in the movies. But instead, I became a barmaid. And uh, I used to tap dance a little bit. And, well, I just did about everything. I used to travel, and I used to hitchhike, catch freight, and, well, I always had somebody with me, some girl or something. Oh, I was married in 46 in Reno, Nevada, and, oh, it lasted about seven years. But it was my fault. I left him for another man. So, I blame myself for it, yeah. And, so, uh, well, then I came to Baltimore, and I... John, you know, like I said before, I got in John's movies, and I'm still here, and I got the job and everything. Do you think that John will oh. become a big director? John is already a big director, and uh, he's a wonderful writer, you know. He's real good. Do you think it's better John or Fellini? Well, I've never worked with Fellini, so I can't say nothing bad, but I think John is good and a genius. Why don't you introduce to us your roommate? All right, I'll go. Jean, come on, sit down. This is the lady that stayed with me and she helped me in the shop, you know. So this is Jean, my roommate. So. Everybody's got the fever. That is something we all know. Fever isn't a new thing. Fever happened long time ago. Fever when you kiss me. Fever when you hold me tight. Fever in the morning and, ooh, daddy, fever all through the night. You don't have to be a glamour puss or a beauty queen. I'm better in my 50s than I ever was at sweet 16. Never know how much I love you. Never know how much I care. 
when you put your arms around me. Ooh, Daddy, I get a fever that's too hard to bear. Fever, fever when you kiss me. Fever when you hold me tight. Fever in the morning. Ooh, Daddy, fever all through the night. Do it like I like it, Daddy. I can do anything a sweater girl can do. And if a great big mama like me can do it, why in the hell can't you? You're looking at parts that are hard to get, but there's plenty of mileage in this old jalopy yet. So, ooh, fever.